Jazz musicians have often been remarkably creative artists who met untimely ends. Today we are going to tell you the story of a brilliant piano player who couldn't control himself. Earl Bud Powell was born in Harlem, New York on September 27, 1924. His father was an amateur piano player and wanted his son to become a great musician. So he enrolled Bud in piano lessons when he was just five years old. By the time he was a teenager, Bud played in his older brother's band. As he played the club circuit, Bud became close friends with another piano player, Thelonious Monk. He also befriended the saxophone player Charlie Parker and the trumpet player Dizzy Gillespie. It seemed as though Bud would have an exciting future full of creativity and success, but an unexpected event would affect the course of his life. In January 1945, Bud had just finished playing a show with his band. He was wandering drunk near a train station and was arrested by the railroad police. They beat him brutally, then handed him over to the New York City police. When Bud was finally released, he had excruciating headaches. After 10 days of suffering, he went to Bellevue Hospital seeking help. He was sent to a psychiatric hospital for evaluation and remained there for two months. After being released, Bud began playing again and was soon appearing with the greatest living jazz musicians. But those who knew him said that Bud was never the same after being beaten by the police. He became short-tempered and very irritable, and sometimes violent. In November 1947, Bud got into a fight while drinking at a bar in Harlem. He was hit in the head with a bottle. Bud was later found wandering and speaking incoherently. He was sent to Creedmoor State Hospital for psychiatric treatment. They treated Bud's problems with electroconvulsive shock therapy. He was finally released in October 1948. Bud produced several brilliant recordings over the next two years. But in 1951, he was arrested along with Thelonious Monk. They were both charged with possession of heroin. Bud was returned to a psychiatric facility and wasn't released until 1953. After being re-released from confinement, Bud Powell went back to playing, but he was on medication that affected his abilities. The once brilliant piano player was now a shadow of his former self, and he also argued with his fellow musicians. He and Charlie Parker stopped playing together because of it. In 1956, tragedy struck again when Bud's older brother died in a car crash. After this, Bud became involved with a woman known as Buttercup. She managed his finances and helped him take his medications. Thanks to this, Bud kept recording and performing, despite his diminished abilities. In 1959, Buttercup moved Bud to Paris. He lived there for the next several years, but in 1964, a friend helped him escape her and return to New York. Bud tried to keep playing, but he could no longer function. He had developed a serious problem with alcoholism. His emotions were completely unbalanced. Soon, he became completely unable to take care of himself. Bud didn't realize that right before leaving Paris, he had contracted tuberculosis. The disease and neglect had ravaged his body. Bud was taken to the hospital and kept there for several months. He died on July 31, 1966 from several causes. Tuberculosis, alcoholism, and malnutrition were the reasons Bud Powell died. He was 41 years old. Bud Powell has inspired several well-known piano players, such as Chick Corea and Herbie Hancock. He was also the inspiration for a 1986 movie called Round Midnight. 